Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. As you can see, I am a floating sperm-like ver version of Arnold Schwarzenegger's character in Terminator here. Or Kano, I guess, depending on your perspective from Mortal Kombat. But this is a run suggested by YouTube user MidTalFalc, like Falcon, F-A-L-C. I have no idea the significance of that, but surely it has some reason uh, or meaning exclusively to only him. But in any case, this run is called the True Glass Cannon. We have seven spirit hearts. I don't know how that seventh one got here. Uh, but the basic premise for this run is that we have a lot of great items. We have Spirit of the Night, we have Polyphemus, Sacred Heart, and Technology, as well as some extra Spirit Hearts to start with. Now, the downside, we can't take any of my favored blue baby items. Just wanted to make sure Cheat Engine wasn't on there. Uh, so we can't take the Miter, the Relic, the Nail, or Book of Revelations, or anything that gives us an increased chance of getting Spirit Hearts, a la... Like, um, let me think about this for a second. What was the item I was thinking of? Obviously, the upside of this run is that we're going to absolutely destroy everything right away. Uh, the other thing is no item rooms are allowed because obviously that would be crazy. Random here, spirit heart drops, like for example from this tinted rock, are A-OK, -okay, as is that damage upgrade. But yes, we cannot take, the one I was thinking of was Mom's Pearl. We absolutely cannot take Mom's Pearl. And we're going to see if this run is going to be possible. I think uh, that a lot of foresight went into this run. That being said... I am basically tearing through enemies, doing more damage than I think I may have ever done in a run before in my entire life, but obviously things will change. Again, items are not allowed. Uh, like, boss items are not allowed, item rooms, shops are not allowed. However, if I find items randomly from a golden chest or whatnot, uh, those are still A-OK. -okay. So I think that these early floors uh, should basically be no-brainers. The other downside is that we're not shooting very quickly, so if I can find some random tears up in the... Uh, tears ups, I guess I should say, in the form of a pill or something along those lines, I would be psyched for that. Uh, we will take Safety Cap, which is more likely to give us pills, or at least uh, give us good pills. I think that's what it does, and we're going to fight pretty much the same boss we just fought all over again. Deals with the Devil again, uh, not okay, so it's down to the next floor. Now, the reason this run is called Glass Cannon is because it's the run I always try to, like, espouse as my, uh, my favorite kind of run, which is a run where we have a ton of damage, but not really that much defense. And that's exactly where we're standing right here. It might seem right now... Like, this run is overpowered, and you might not be wrong. I mean, time will tell if that is indeed the case. Uh, but the thing is, it's going to be very difficult for me to get any extra health. So as I start taking damage, and inevitably, I will start taking damage, uh, things are going to get more and more difficult as we move along. You know, if Tinted Rocks don't show up as frequently as I would like them to, we could easily find ourselves... I, I killed those guys without shooting a laser, apparently. Uh, we could easily find ourselves in a position where I'm basically dealing with, like, one heart and have to fight Blue Baby or Isaac. So, uh, again, on this run, anything could happen just because it's easy to start with here doesn't mean it's going to be easy to end with. Because what we have right now is basically going to be what we finish with. Let's see what we've got in the form of this pill. Luck up. I'll take that. You know, I was trying one of the most commonly suggested uh, challenge runs is this run where you do, uh, you take Tough Love, which is Bloody Knuckles, and then you get, uh down to the next floor. Uh, then you get nine luck up pills by using like deck of cards or mom's pill bottle and the cheat engine. Uh, and this causes you to constantly fire only teeth by, by way of uh, tough love. The problem is that not every pill exists in every Binding of Isaac run. Like when you start the game, it randomly chooses which pills to take because there's only a set number of colors. The problem is, I tried to set this run up like three times and luck up never appeared as any of the colors. So I was like, fine, fuck it, we're doing glass cannon. Uh, I'll probably try to set that up again at a later date, but it's so frustrating when you like sit down and you're ready to record. And then you're like, okay, we've gone through nine pills, nope. Close Isaac, restart Isaac, open the cheat engine, go through nine pills, nope, no luck up. Uh, it, it's one of the few very, very specific challenge runs. Uh, and it, one of the most frustrating as well, just to set up. And there's always a chance that I'll die two seconds in, although uh, that is a pretty strong run. So I don't think that would happen. Still, anything could happen, so who knows. Uh, it's a lot of work to go into it. And not just a lot of work, like if it was just like ten minutes to set up, uh, but once you set it up, that was fine, like there was some certainty involved. Unfortunately, there's no certainty involved. It could take me two tries, thank you for that spirit heart. It could take me two tries to set up, could take me 200. Uh, it's all based on the troll engine, but we do have a luck up pill here, so troll engine is hard at work. Uh, that is a health down pill, that kind of hurts, but we haven't lost any hearts so far, so we're doing okay. Since we're doing so well, I'm gonna say that that uh, boss room is gonna be off limits for now. I'm worried that maybe we've taken a run that is a little bit too uh, imbalanced. And just makes things far too easy on us. So we're just going to take out Gertie as soon as possible. You can tell you're doing a lot of damage. 
when you take out Gertie in like under 50 hits, and we only needed like six or seven there. Again, a deal with the Angel and a range upgrade, but we are gonna skip over those as we move along. I like this run because I actually have to like, have some effort to proceed. Like, there's oftentimes suggestions of runs similar to this, uh, but they're unrealistic. They're like, take Blue Baby, get down to one Spirit Heart, never be able to take any more Spirit Hearts, but you can take any items you want, and I'm like, well, that's not fun because either I take, like, Nun's Habit Nail and I'm basically invincible, uh, along with, like, Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, etc., etc. This is some bad damage, finally. Uh, or I don't take those and then I die because that run is basically impossible. One Renegade... Like, Silkworm could end my run in that situation. Or, God forbid, like a Mask of Infamy room or something like that. So, I, although I understand that run might be fun to watch for five minutes, that's exactly as long as it'll be. Uh, I have been taking some bad damage on this floor. But it's okay, we still have more Spirit Arts than we started with. Uh, technology seems to have some weird interactions here where it doesn't hit 100% of the time. I guess I should, like, hold down the button, that fires the shot a little bit uh, longer, which may indeed make it easier for us to uh, actually get some damage done here. So I'm going to try to regroup, collect my thoughts, and, uh, you know, refocus. Redo a lot of things, I guess. And um, hopefully this will give me a greater chance for success. Because obviously, I can afford to take damage here because it's not so difficult. But once we get down uh, into the womb where everything is going to be doing double damage, then things are going to be difficult. Especially considering, again, we're not going to be getting any more items for the course of this entire thing. That was not really a stipulation in the challenge run, like no more items was not suggested. There was only specific items I couldn't take under any circumstance. Uh, but I think it's fitting. You get a pretty fly, that's good. Uh, I think it's fitting to not take any items except ones you find randomly, because otherwise we would be way too strong, I think. As you can see, we're basically one-shotting every enemy, even multi-stage enemies, which almost under almost any circumstance take more than one hit just because they have you know multiple phases uh, in this situation we're still basically one-shotting them which I didn't even know was possible for some of these enemies but I'm happy with it nonetheless and again with seven and a half spirit hearts we're still sitting fairly pretty we are fighting red monstro 2 which is normally a big problem because he is oh that was bad because he is annoying as hell but we should be able to take him out so quickly I don't know that it really matters so with him being dead just don't get hit by the laser bullet flies there's a crate I would love to take the crate because we would get a pill could possibly be a good upgrade uh, as well as a spirit heart which is borderline essential but sadly I'm gonna stick to the rules of the run here and we will just hope that we come across some more tinted rocks in the future I haven't been actively looking for tinted rocks I just kind of hope that uh, I've played the game so much that my brain just actively like or I guess passively I guess I should say notices blue slightly tinted blue rocks uh, whenever I enter a level because, you know, I, I would hate to be abandoning a bunch of them. God knows the comment section would truly explode. Uh, hopefully we are just finding our way to the boss room here. Because the less rooms we have to deal with, the better. Please be a balls of steel pill. Tears up. Alright, well that will help me fire a little bit faster. That could be important. And these guys represent literally no threat at all. If I could just fight those guys for the rest of the game, I would be very pleased with myself. We do have that devil card. The devil card's useful. I'm just going to pop the chariot card just to get through here, basically. Uh, we'll save the Devil card as long as we can. Open up this golden chest. We've got another uh, Tears upgrade there, so we'll take that. Again, remember, it's not that like no items are allowed. It's that no item rooms, shops, or boss items are allowed. We'll obviously take the Polaroid as well uh, once we finish this floor. I don't think it's going to be worth using the Devil card on Mom here. We'll save that until we get into some more Dire Straits, which you know could happen any second now. That was super easy. There's our Polaroid, and it's down to the next floor. With no compass and map, uh, the womb and utero could take me a little while here. However, it's hard for me to complain when we had, well, we've got the pink glitch now, but uh, we've had, what, like a nine-minute run through the first eight floors of the game? No, six floors of the game. So that's like a minute and a half per floor, which is pretty goddamn fast, considering that probably only like 25% of that time was even spent in combat. Like, we've spent 10% of this video basically now just looking at this blue baby screen. There we go. Thank you, Isaac. We might have an XL floor here. This glitch always gets me, man. It always makes me think my computer is frozen. Oh my god, it did it again. Come on! It's the most frustrating thing in the world because Camtasia is already kind of an unreliable piece of garbage for software, uh, recording software in the first place. So when you get this going on, you can see my cursor here spinning around. I think it's gonna recover. There we go, pink glitch times two. What are the odds? Well, we are... It's not even an XL floor, that's the weird part. 
I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not a programmer. I don't know the reasoning, mathematically or logically speaking, for why that glitch occurs. Uh, I just know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. So let's shoot some hearts here and continue onwards. Where we should be coming across, I, I just, I have a, I'm feeling lucky today, Dirty Harry style. Uh, nice spirit heart. What did I tell you? Feeling a little lucky. Uh, I think I might be going the right way right from the get go here, but we'll see. By the way, this is quick. Aww. This is quickly becoming like my favorite item combination ever. When I first saw this, I was like, well, this looks pretty good, I guess, but where's mom's knife? Fuck mom's knife! Brimstone, or sorry, not brimstone, technology, Polyphemus Sacred Heart. Get the world's largest uh, laser beam here. It's always nice, that's maybe my favorite part of these challenge runs, uh, beyond just adding some variety to the game, is seeing how strange, we're gonna take the devil card, because we can't take items from the deal with the devil, uh, is seeing how strange, uh, like, some of the item interactions in the game can be. I'm taking the keys, but I'm thinking, like, am I actually going to... Normally I have this rule that once we get to the chest, unless it's a special circumstance, all bets are off. So all the items in the chest are okay to take. However, uh, in this run, we're so powerful that it kind of feels like that would be against the spirit of the challenge run. Again, my number one priority for these is, uh, you know, making sure that the run is at least, if not balanced, at least... Uh, true to the spirit of the commenter who suggested it. I think so far I've been good about that in this run. Basically making things harder on myself than was initially uh, anticipated. Which is good, but uh, if I can make it balanced as well, that's that's my number two priority. Because I think it makes for a more entertaining run uh, in the long run anyway. Oh, that's some damage for us. By the way, oh, I totally forgot that uh, with the Polaroid, we will have permanent invincibility every time we get hit as well. Which is good, that's going to compensate us slightly for the fact that I am going to be taking probably more damage because on the womb you do get double damage basically and we're going to be fighting our first boss on Utero 1 I think it officially took us less time oh, duh, it was the worst damage I think it officially took us less time to beat the floor than it did to get over the pink glitch but in any case we're on Utero 2, I took way too much damage on the last floor, I got hit like twice, that's craziness uh, but hopefully, I mean, this is one of those runs that, from the get-go, as soon as you see the suggestion, you're like, this is not going to be a 45-minute long run. This is going to be, like, either a 10-minute run or a 15-minute run, success or failure. Just don't get hit by this motherfucking mask, and life is good. There we go. The only reason I hate Utero so much is because, oh, that was awful, is because of that goddamn mask. Please be, I was hoping that was the hero font. Um... You know what, we're going to save the world card. I was very tempted to use it, but it ended up being a good decision not to because we are going to be uh, done with this floor base. No! Oh, thank God. We're going to be done with this floor basically right away. We can use the world card to uh, speed through the cathedral or the chest. And I'm thinking this mom's heart boss fight should take like 10 seconds. We've already got her in permanent bomb state. Now she's dead. It's up to the cathedral. We should probably speed through the cathedral. Nah, you know what? We're gonna try to speed through the chest. I think I can make this happen. And I'm not gonna take items on the chest. I think we can do this without doing that. It's gonna be close. Possibly. Uh, I would really love to get some more spirit heart drops. Oh, yeah, this is not good. This is one of those rooms that could uh, easily destroy my hopes of having a good run. Maybe we will take items on the chest. You know, I guess it depends on how this Isaac fight goes, assuming we get there. Okay, so that's a dead end. Hmm... Loki shouldn't be too bad. No, oh, I almost got hit by Loki there. Um, I really wish he would just create bomb flies so that we could finish that faster. Please drop some spirit hearts, good lord. Now I just want to take like one HP upgrade. Okay, one shotting those guys makes me feel a lot better about my life. So we're gonna see. I don't know why I was hoping the blood bank would give me a spirit heart. I don't know if that's ever happened in the history of the Binding of Isaac. Let's slide through here. Okay, we've taken out the hard part. There we go. Now we just gotta go back through here. Probably the most annoying series of uh, obstacles we could face in the whole game. Now, we've reached three dead ends already. Hopefully fourth time's a charm. I've never heard anybody use that turn of phrase in real life, but it's always possible. We're gonna be fighting Greed. Which should be okay. The spider is frozen. I don't wanna move. I don't want to close my eyes, because I'll miss you, spider. I'm not even going to hit a Steven Tyler high note there, because I'm incapable of doing so. And I'm just going to try to like group these guys together. 
So I could do that, and hopefully again, this is gonna be Balls of Steel. Luck up. Again! So ironic that the luck up pill shows up after trying to set up like a lucky run like three times. Not very lucky at all, is it? Too bad we don't have money equals power. That would give us some intense damage right now. Not that we don't have intense damage already. Okay, that was kind of close. We've reached yet another dead end. I don't think that money is important. We'll take the bomb. I don't know when I'm going to use the bomb unless I come across 19 tinted rocks. Are you listening, Troll Engine? 19 tinted rocks. Yes, please. <sighs> well, we've crossed the vaunted 15 minute mark, which is perhaps better than I thought we would do. Oh, okay. So now we're in the two hit zone. I don't like being here. There's another luck up pill. More tinted rocks, please. Again, in case you're not familiar with the mechanics of luck, as I was not for a long time, I believe luck makes it more likely for a uh, an item drop to happen at the end of a room, essentially. That was a nice chain reaction. Thank you, Polaroid. That's very handy. Um, so, we're yeah, we're more likely to get, like, not just trinket drops, but uh, red hearts, hopefully spirit hearts as well, bombs and keys, etc, etc. But spirit hearts have been very tough to come by so far. Oh my god, there's a tinted rock here. Holy shit. Could we actually possibly make a go at this? I don't think we need very much health to beat Isaac, to be honest with you. Uh, but I would love to get two tinted, two spirit hearts here. Well, a single key. All right. Well, easy come, easy go. Right? How about this one? Two cents and a troll bomb. So we're gonna go fight Isaac. Um, I think this shouldn't be too difficult, provided my dodging skill is up to snuff. Just gotta stay like very vigilant. We're gonna kill him right away. Oh, I took some damage. One more hit will kill me, but everyone is dead. We're going to the chest. Forgive me. I've gotta open up these chests and at least see what we've got. There's a mini mush, telepathy for dummies, game kid, and lemon mishap. So the only one I would even take would be mini mush. Actually, I would take game kid as well under ideal circumstances. Uh, we'll check our secret room. Maybe we'll get very lucky in there and find a one up or something. I did use the world. Oh, I did use the world card there, by the way. But otherwise, you know, I don't think speed plus range is really the uh, upgrade I was looking for. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna die here, unless we get incredibly lucky. Oh no, I ran right into the foot. Never mind. That was a good run, though. Again, thank you to um, Captain Falcon. I've forgotten your name, but I remember it had Falcon for that challenge run suggestion. Always like those high offense, low defense type runs. It makes it pretty exciting, in my opinion. But in any case, that was a fast paced run. Continue to suggest your challenge runs uh, in the comments, and I will do the ones that deem most visible, absurd, appropriate, entertaining, hilarious, etc., etc. Uh, but in any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.